We are about to start our brand new season today. Last time we was using only jobbers. This time we are going to have the most prolific roster of all time. That's right. Every single superstar that you love is going to be bought. We are going to see how many we can buy. Are they going to be upset sitting on the bench? Are any of them going to be suspended? Let's find out. Hello. Welcome. And give me a hell yeah. Give me a whole, whole yeah. Give me a whole yeah. From the Spanish god, Sammy Guevara. Cheers to everyone watching in Yorkshire and beyond. Hope you guys have a great day from the Spanish god. Shout out to Dom, shout out to Anthony. You guys are smart because you're fans of me. And uh, anyways, have a great day. <laughs> we love him in Sammy Gravari. Maybe he's suspended, but we still love him. Hello, and a very warm welcome to the Gimme Who Yeah Wrestling Podcast. My name is Ant, and today we are continuing to build the most prolific roster. That's right, we are buying everyone with every bit of money we can scrape together. Can we own every woman in 25 weeks in this game? That's going to change the gameplay a bit. I'm a bit anxious about this one. But I think it's going to be fun. Let's get straight into the episode. Right, we are at the point where we finished our last season and we can look at keeping people. We have our tag team champion, Clubberella, 287,000. That's a hull of a lot. That's a hull of a lot. But I feel like we want to keep our tag team champion and Donna Matrix still in the brand. Have we got anyone dirt cheap? This keeps them for a while. Her stamina's thingy. Ah. Ah, uh, I feel I can get them cheaper, man. I feel I can get them cheaper. Um, Psycho Sally was really cool as well. Oh, uh, who are we going to have? Popularity, 80. Um, why is Sassy so expensive when the popularity is not that great? Who knows? Psycho Sally's at level 20. No, 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 no. Lula Tandy. We had a lot of fun with Lula. She's got a feud with Donna Matrix going as well. Oh, oh, free feud. Let's go, Lula Tandy, Donna Matrix, and Club Arella. You are coming with me into the next season. There we go. We've got our tag champ and our woman's champion on the brand. 16 stamina. Ouch. Let's see what the draft brings us. Feels like a while since we've done this, right? The WWE draft. Brutus Kreese, Ludwig Kaiser. Carmella has been picked by WCW for 413000 That was expensive. Wow. Okay. I mean, these are bloody expensive again, right? These are really expensive. We couldn't build a brand up with people at the top here. Um, okay. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Oh, Bianca Belair. We haven't had Bianca in a while, have we? Tiffany's there. Cool. Nice to see Tiffany back. A huge part of our... How is Valhalla so high? How is Valhalla a giant? What is going on? What have we done? What have we done wrong? Uh, man, these are all great levels. Look at them. Like 25, 20... Natalia's at level 24. And we've never used Natalia. That's interesting. Um, so I think we're going to go... What are we going to do? What are we going to do? This is the entire roster. So you can see Thea Hale right at the bottom there. Let's just get some stars, man. I need um, some face fighters to go up against people so Tegan Knox, yeah you're gonna be our first call Tegan Knox is our first one oh it costs us a lot for Tegan Knox though man the men are so much cheaper the men are so much cheaper scripts cool let's have a look who else we've got I, I kind of want Natalia just based on the fact that we've not got her but I feel like we can get her cheaper somehow um let's have a look Tiffany Stratton's there for 380 Baszler's there. Baszler's done good for us. Former tag champion with Nikki Cross. Uh, Zelina Vega. We haven't used Zelina Vega yet. Zelina Vega, welcome. The the welcome to SmackDown. We could do it with a giant now for Zelina Vega to go against. We've got Valhalla, who we saw very, very briefly. Got Charlotte Flair, who, who is also a giant. Uh, do we have any more? Do we have any more? Uh, no, no. Cool. So let's take Valhalla. Cool, she may be a giant. It's just because she uses the force of Valhalla. The Viking Lord. There we go, Indy Hartwell. Oh, we should have got Indy, actually. We haven't used Indy yet. Uh, right, let's have a look if there is anyone else that we haven't used from the bottom going up. Liv Meechin. We haven't used Meechin. Let's go. Meechin is on our side. I'm not even kind of looking at um, classes at the minute because I just feel like we can manage... I feel like we've done a really good job of just managing each time, to be perfectly honest. 
The hell? Oh, he's picking up a cheap one for us. Okay, Cora J. I love, I, I love Cora J. I thought she was really fun, actually. Um, Chelsea Green. Oh, mate, we ain't got much money. We ain't got much money. And we have seven? Yeah, we have seven superstars. So let's get Cora Jade, and let's see if we can afford to finish this roster pull. What the hell's going on, man? Oh, they've got Charlotte Flair. We'll have to try and buy her back. There we go. WCW are done. Uh, that's us now. Zoe Stark, Liv Morgan, EO Sky. EO did great in that first season. Maurice. We used Maurice for quite a while. Ivy Nile. Yes, I Ivy mean, Nile, oh, man. Ivy Nile was great as well. I'm going to get Liv Morgan. She was uh, eliminated from our brand before, but you guys seem to love some Liv Morgan. Let's see what happens. And it's finished. We have no more money. So it said it is over for you. Um, let's see if we can make some money. Let's hope we've got the right sort of feud that we need. Man, we've got less people. We spent all of our money. Ouch. Let the games begin. Indeed. Can we end up number one in this one? I think so. But I don't know how it's going to be. Uh, Triple H was pleased with our performance at SmackDown. No time for complacency, though. I've had meetings with the management from WCW, and I'm confident they'll be stepping up their game this year. Uh, is there a chance that anyone overtakes us this year? We're going to... New season, new challenges. I think someone probably will overtake us. Uh, good. I'm expecting big things of SmackDown this season. Make it an amazing show. Hey, Sonia, I just wanted to let you know I plan on taking WCW to the top of the power rankings and staying there. I have the roster and show running capabilities to do it. I don't think SmackDown stands a chance. You really think you can contend with us when we have superstars like Carl Anderson? Get real. Kudos to your SmackDown performance. ECW has some catching up to do. Um... We definitely had a good season, but we know that ECW will be trying to turn things around. May the best brand win, says Paul Heyman. Deville, how's it going? Just wanted to wish you luck for the coming season. We're looking forward to it over at NXT. Obviously, with the likes of Alexa Bliss in our books, we think we're going to give SmackDown more than a run for its money. I guess we're going to find out. William Regal, she might be on your books now, mate, but we're having her. We're having her. All right, Vito Champ, we got it. Cool. Got bad timing as well. That was from the power uh, cards. Great, fine, whatever. I promise the Tandy a match against Donna Matrix for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Is uh, Donna Matrix still hurt then? How do we go into a new season with people like that? Okay, no, she's uh, she's not hurt. She has a new perk to buy as well uh, after that. And Michin has a new perk to buy as well. So let's have a look at doing that, shall we? Uh, manage roster, let's go. Donna Matrix, a uh, new perk is going to be Tornado Tag or Tables. Let's do Tables because we don't know how long she's going to be in Tornado Tag for. But she can also, in a tag team match, have a have a, torne uh, have a Tables match anyway. Basic power card doesn't help us. Superstar gains one popularity while participating in matches. Helps us more, or does it? Because we don't know how many matches they're going to be in. It's fascinating. I'm so interested by this season and how it plays out. Let's have a quick search for some females, see if we can fill out our card. I'm pref I was debating whether to buy uh, local talent again. Oh, mate, we can't even get any rookies, even on local talent. They're all established stars now. That's right. We've made Ignition and Josie Jane established stars. 70,000 for five weeks. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Zaya Lee for five weeks. She's a fighter. We've not had Zia Lee in yet. Let's have Zia Lee. Welcome to SmackDown. We'll do five weeks for now, yeah, fine. Cool, let's see how we do. Let's have a look at our card. Ensure that Tegan Knox gets a promo this week. It's Injury Rehab of Plus 3, which is a really good card to have. Ensure that Tegan Knox gets a promo. She is going to do it, but she's going to do a call-out promo. Tegan Knox is going to call out... Can't do Lula Tandy. Can't do anyone. We have one bruiser in the brand. Great. Great. And one specialist in the brand. Great. Um, let's have T. Oh, man. I messed up. I messed Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Let's have uh, Tegan Knox call out Liv Morgan. Cool. Fine. Yeah, whatever. It's okay. Uh, Donna Matrix and Lula Tandy. They want to have a match. Uh, are they going to have a match in the uh, in the main event? Do we see if uh, if the tag team changes, if, if the title changes? Make it titles match? Yeah, I'm done with it. Move it to there, and do we make it tables? Yeah, sure, why not? Because it'll give it like a huge boost because of Donna Matrix. Let's go. Main event booked, main event sorted. We are on a start here. We have Zillian Vega 
Our new sign-in, never used uh, Zelina Vega before. She's going to be going up against the giant that is Valhalla. Let's see if that feud pays off. And we've got uh, Clubberella, who's the only bruiser, uh, going up against our other new signing. I guess Sai Lee would be quite cool. There we go. We can see if we can get that build feud going or not. Because we might lose uh, Clubberella, uh, Zai Lee, if we can't keep her happy. Um, do we want a three-way out of these? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Let's do a three-way. Let's see if we get a feud out of it. Not the best sort of cards, but you know, that's it sometimes. Unfortunately, when you start the game with a limited roster and uh, the value of all your women has been boosted by the fact that all we have done is use women, um, this is the position we are left in. We have no one else. We can't afford anyone else. Our local talent is costing us a fortune. It's uh, pretty tough. It's pretty tough, but that's fine. What are a power card? Special promotion. That's a really good card. Beth of Legend, six random superstars in your roster will have their popularity increased by six. Let's use it now. Let's give it a boost. It's Lula, Clubberella, Zelina, Cora Jade, Valhalla, and Tegan Knox. Let's go. Uh, power up. Um, do I want that for the fans one? I quite like the fans one being there. I do want the level up, though, as well, to see if we can get some really cheap contracts for, like, really expensive. Um... It is a good one. I think we're going to leave it. I think we're going to leave it for now. Okay. We're leaving it for now. We're walking away. We are walking away. She's got a match against Donna Matrix. She'll be a happy bunny for sure. Let's have a look what else is going on. Uh, wow. Becky Lynch down at the bottom of my journal. Uh, I think I need to clear up some of my emails is what needs to happen. There we go. That's our card. Let's see how it goes. I know it's not the best feuds in the world. But let's see what happens. It's Selena Vega going against Valhalla. This should be a decent match. It's a good matchup. Uh, Valhalla gets the win there, and a rivalry was born in a three star match, which is way better than the start of last season. Tegan Knox had a good promo against uh, Liv Morgan, which is good. Zia Lee comes out, goes up against a Clubberella. What is going to happen here? Zia Lee, is she going to be the dominant force? She certainly is the new signee making. Clear headway against uh, Clubberella, our current tag team champion. Meechin versus Liv Morgan versus Cora Jade. Let's hope nothing silly gets started here. Meechin gets the win in a one and a half star match. Cool. But it is our title match. It's our two time champion Donna versus Lula. And it's Lula who starts the season with the belt. The rivalry grows. It's a four and a half star classic. Exactly what we wanted, baby. They're struggling with people as well, by the look of it. Um, they had very little promos filled, and uh, so did NXT, really. Cool. Um, three stars, one and a half stars, and a four and a half star main event. I feel like we was all fairly equal. I feel like oh, that mid-card match, that three-way, really hurt us, but we kind of expected it because I didn't really think very well during the draft, so it's kind of my own fault. They've got Piper Niven and uh, Indy Hartwell. We haven't used either of them. 18,000 fans we get. Are we going to stay in the lead? 13,000 fans from WCW. 15,000 fans from ECW. Yes, we are staying in the lead. That's right. NXT nowhere near us. Reduces the injury time for one superstar by three weeks. Great. Great. Um, let's hope we can use our title in this pay-per-view. Uh, tier 1 advertising during the next uh, show. Okay, fine. You got me once, but now I have my payback. Uh, it was a low blow and you know it. Deal with it. Uh, hey, boss, I've got a bit of a problem. What's your problem, Liv? Costume malfunction. Um, had a costume malfunction today during practice. I'm not sure if I'll be able to go on tonight unless we fix it AOP. Uh, 20k. 20k will get it sorted. It's fine. Uh, fantastic. Thanks, boss. You're welcome. Thanks for the title rematch. You're welcome. And you're new. Once again, champion. Good to have the title back in my hands. Thanks for the rematch, boss. I appreciate it. And you were a good boss for me before when you gave me that rematch against Christina. You are welcome. Listen. Need to wipe that sug smile off Meechin's face after the loss. I want to fight her again in the next two weeks. Yeah, we can make that happen. We can make that happen, Cora Jade. Don't you worry about it. Have at least one last man standing match next week. Well, we can only really do that if we get some uh, get some superstars on this roster, eh? So let's do it. Let's uh, let's have a search and uh, see what we can get. I'm going to go with uh, renowned stars and see what we get in that section there. So Penelope Perfect, Sammy George. Oh, mate, I did gender any. Oh, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. 
Penelope seems like a good buy. Popularity 70. She'll fight her. Um, she did well for us before. How much is it to keep her forever? It is 250,000. I think it is worth it. Welcome to the brand. Building up our roster already. And Sammy, was she cheaper? Would she be... She is a specialist, which really helps us out. 185. Welcome to the brand. There's going to be a lot of searches in this show, uh, obviously. Uh, it's, it's what we have to do. Uh, special promotion. So Last Man Standing is definitely something that we want on this card. Uh, let's have a look. Last Man Standing. Anyone, anyone good at Last Man Standing? No. Okay, great. Uh, let's have a look at Stamina. It's Valhalla and Zelina Vega. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. They're opening the show again, this time with the Last Man Woman Standing match. Oh, no, main event. Yeah, that's fine. Main event's fine. Uh, Xylee and Donna Matrix, uh, sorry, Lula Tandy and Donna Matrix are ready to rock. Uh, let's have a look. Sammy George is uh, not doing anything at the minute. Uh, Cora Jade wants a match against Meechin, which is okay. Uh, we've got Xylee and Clubberella. That's slowly building. 54, yeah, okay, we can build that there, maybe. I certainly don't want a stipulation in it. Uh, Tegan Knox. Going up against, we've got this specialist here. So who are we getting to go against the specialist? Let's get Eeny Meeny Miny. Eeny Meeny Miny. Can we look at changing Tegan Knox? Let's see what Tegan Knox has has a other class. If we were to do a class change on Tegan Knox, it'd be a class to a bruiser. Kind of feel like we need that, guys. I kind of feel like we need that. We don't have any bruises on the brown, so we will use that ability right now. Um, let's have a look. We've got the fighter going up against... Put her in a three-way against them, see what happens. We know it's not going to be the best match in the world, but there it is what it is. What it is, what it is. Um, who was it that wanted it? Hang on, who was it that wanted it? Was it Penelope? No, we just put Penelope. Cora Jade. Cora Jade and Meechin. Sorry, excuse me. Triple threat. Cora Jade. Meechin. There we go. Getting them two in there. And who else do we want to put in there? Could put in our champion. Could rest them up. Did we say Penelope? Yeah, I think Penelope. Okay, a lot of fighters against each other. Not the best match in the world. Uh, as well as this one, which isn't the best match in the world. But at least we can build something up potentially between Liv Morgan and Sammy George. Let's see if it does build anything up, that is. A TLC match sounds good. It's a high stamina cost. Liv Morgan might be hurt a little bit, but it'll certainly help it in the opening match. Right, let's have a look what we've got. Donna Matrix and Lula Tandy. Donna Matrix has great promo skill. That's good to see. Charity promo. Let's go. Make us some fans... Uh, Fans right there and a and a normal promo. Normal promo for Lula Tandy. Feels good. Feels good. Okay. I think that's our card for our second show. Um building up them assets slowly. We've done our search, the XP ones. We can't afford anything right now. Because we need to buy superstars. We are doing the last man standing. And the TLC to help boost our show at the thing. I want to see if we can stay ahead of the other brands. Liv Morgan gets the win there. Good match. Three star match. Good. That's because it was a TLC. No rivalry built up though. Tegan Knox has chained class. It's Clubberella and Zia Lee. There we go, the rivalry grows. Three star match from them two there. Great stuff. Donna Matrix putting on an excellent promo. It's Cora Jade versus Meechian versus Penelope Perfect. Let's hope that we get no feuds that we need to pay off with steel cage matches. We do. Jade versus Meechian. Okay, we can have a look, see if we can change someone or what we can do about that. We will certainly have a look. Valhalla versus um, Zelina Verga in the main event, last man standing, and it's a four-star match. Wow. Not a bad show. Not a bad show. Um, good opening and main event. That's exactly what we kind of wanted. And actually, that second match was really good as well. Another three-star match there. 1.5 on the uh, bizarre triple threat. But everything else was really good. ECW did a really good main event. Let's have a gander at their main event. Don't know who that is. Don't know who that is, WCW. Uh, Solo Sokoa versus Dexter Loomis right there. And uh, Alexa Bliss versus Fallon Henley. Wow. Okay, cool. NXT trying to make it work with Legends with Eve on the 15,000 fans. We got, what, what did they get? 17,000. No. 
20,000, no, 20,000, we're slowly falling behind, but we do have a special promotion to ensure that we keep most of our fans one week, we can use that as a pay-per-view if we want, we are two weeks away from said pay-per-view, Donna's really excited about it, she said that she's really excited for this upcoming PLE, can't wait to put on a great show for the crowd, neither can I, thanks for the rematch again, Michin, I told you I'd get the win, you are welcome, my dear, have at least one submission match, and that gives us 10 scallant point, uh, scallant points so that's really cool uh one submission match who wants to be in on a submission match in this feud um let's put in i mean a submission match should should boost something quickly oh mate i've messed up big time here i've turned her bruiser now our one heel fighter is busy with bloody meeting um unless we Go crazy. So, if we put this as a steel cage match, I wonder how this works. Steel cage match, Meechin versus Cora Jade. Interference going on with Tegan Knox coming on and interfering on Cora Jade. Now, will that resolve the rivalry and will that start a rivalry between Tegan Knox and Cora Jade? That'd be interesting. That's uh, That feels worth checking out for sure. Um, we've got a, a submission match. So, let's see who's got the most stamina. It's Valhalla. And Selena Vega's on 49, or it's... Yeah, so they've got slightly more stamina. So let's put them in the submission match. Let's uh, make Trips happy and get that card. And then let's have a look at what else we've got. We've got Zia Lee and Clubarella. Certainly can just have a normal match for Shower. And then we've got Sammy George and Liv Morgan that we kind of want to boost up. So let's get them in uh, the ring and see if we can do out with that. Um... Oh, do we do Liv Morgan and someone else? Liv Morgan and Penelope Perfect with a run-in from Sammy George. Let's see if that kicks it off. That's what I meant. Yep, yeah, cool. Uh, promo time. It's uh, Popularity 99. Wow. Uh, popularity 74. Let's have her doing the self-promo this time. And let's have her do some uh, charity for us. Yeah, sure. Charity is fine. Cost us a bit, but it's all good. It should raise her popularity. Not that it needs to raise anymore. She is at popularity. 99. Let's confirm the booking again. Uh, let's see how we do this time. Uh, let's go. Simulate. Steel cage match. Is this feud going to end? And is the Tegan Knox one going to start? It doesn't say the feud ended. That's because we did a running. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, at least we're learning, man. At least we're learning. Uh, two popularity there from Donna. Club Arella there's the winner. And the rivalry grows. That's good to see. Lila Tandy. Good promo. Loads of fans. Liv Morgan and Penelope Perfect going out there. Penelope Perfect gets the win. It's a new rivalry, but it is uh, disappointing. It's from Sammy George and Liv Morgan. I didn't do a search for Superstars in the last one, did I? I should have done. I need to start buying people, man. That's what this season is about, being prolific. Four-star match. Nice. Didn't get the double... Didn't get the double rivalry, though, which uh, meant it cost a lot of stamina. A lot of stamina. For no real avail. But that's okay. We can make it work for this pay-per-view. I feel like uh, we're slowly building up the pay-per-view. And uh, actually, it's not a bad card. It's that third match again that's, that's killing us each time. So let's see what we've got. 19,000 there versus 21,000 versus 18,000 versus 13,000. Uh, I know a guy immediately gained 10 plus scaling points. That's good. Uh... Completing a seasonal challenge, popular kids at Race of Popularity, the superstar with the lowest popularity on your set by plus 15. Always handy. I think that'll be Sammy George at the minute, I'd assume. One week's a backlash. Um, contract has been shortened by one week, uh, which means Zia Lee's uh, contract is coming up. Uh, okay, let's talk figures. Uh, I'd like to offer you 192k to stay until the end of the season. Let's not worry about it. Let's have you. You are a Pokemon, and I've got to catch you all. I do tie to man. Power cards are going to be more expensive. That's fine. Hey, boss, I've been bench for a while and I really want to get back in the ring. Now, this is going to be one of the problem messages. I feel like we're going to get this message a lot towards the end of the season. Um, don't you have room for me on tonight's match card? Yeah, sure. Sure. I've been talking with Tandy a lot recently. We had this great idea that we should tag team. Uh, let's see how we work. Yeah, sure. Let's see how we work. Let's see if how her and Tandy work. 
I did not put your most popular fighter this week. Well, that's probably not happening because our most popular fighter is... Oh, Penelope Perfect. So we don't necessarily have to. Um, Bruiser, fighter. Meh. Meh. We need a heal fighter, don't we? Do we do a specific search or what do you reckon? What do you reckon? Or do we just like put it in there or something and go female and just search? I feel like we just search. Heal fighter is what we kind of need. Uh, oh, wow, there we go. So we got Jody Garcia with a new perk. We've got uh, Dakota Kai, man. It's been a while since we've seen Dakota Kai. Have we seen her this season? Annie or Sky, though? Can we get both of them? Do we, have we just got a new tag team? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, what what contracts are we going to sign her for? Let's sign Dakota Kai for a full contract. 249,000. Dakota Kai, welcome to SmackDown. And uh, you're not the only one that we're getting. We're also going to look at EO Sky. Fighter or specialist? A specialist for EO Sky, I feel. I can't do it because I don't own her. Okay. Let me own you. Okay. Let me own you. 259,000 for EO Sky. Let's buy her. Nikita Lions, how much does it cost to buy you for ages? Um, Nikita Lions costs 150, 253, which is mm, less than we have. Uh, however, we could get her for five weeks. Seven weeks would do, and then that'll take us to the next pay-per-view for sure. Um, cool. Let's have a look at the roster and get the upgrades done that we just got from unlocking EOS Sky. Um, yeah, I do feel she's a specialist. I really do. Cool, so we have already got uh, more people on our roster, so this shouldn't be too bad. Um, we're slowly growing. <laughs> but trust me, it's going to get a whole lot worse, a whole lot sooner than we all hope. Right, Valhalla, let's have you have a match off so that we can build up Zelina Vega's stamina ever so slightly. And I think that's going to be the same for the other feud as well, which is Clubberella and Zia Lee. Uh, Zia Lee's at uh, 47 at the minute, so let's have them have a little bit of a break before the pay-per-view. Uh, let's have a look what else we have. We have uh, Michin and Cora Jade going. Uh, we still need to finish that. Let's give them a sell. So that we're ready for the next show, we can see if we can build out for the pay-per-view based on if we get a thing. But that is not a feud that I want. Or do I? Cora Jade at 16. Let me just check. Because this might not be too bad, actually. If I do a class change, does it does it change her to Brawler? That is the question. Does it change her to Brawler? Yes, it do! Oh, Bruiser. I, I always say Brawler. There we go. Cool. So we can keep the feud going, actually. We can absolutely keep the feud going. Great. Good. Um, cool. Let's go. And then let's book our card. So uh, we've got nothing that we want to have happen. Sammy George and Liv Morgan, we could certainly go. Cora Jade, where's Cora Jade? She's doing a promo or something. Oh yeah, I've turned her, haven't I? Uh, Liv Morgan and Sammy George. Yeah, sure. Main event, probably. This is going to be a really weak show, guys. Just to let you know. Uh, EO Sky, reach for the sky. Bruiser and fighter there. We also have Dakota Kai and uh, Tegan Knox. There we go. Finally got something going there for Tegan Knox, maybe. Um, what else do we have? Cruisers, two cruisers. Need some giants. A bruiser and a fighter. Um, what can Nikita Lyons do? If we have a look at her card, we'll see that Nikita Lyons, who we used in that, uh, has a fighter. So she can turn into a fighter if need be. So that's good. Um... Let's have Nikita Lyons going up against Penelope, right? Penelope Perfect, see if we can get that feud going. And a... What else do we want? Eosky and Meechin, or something like that. Eosky and Valhalla. Eosky and... It's just a meeting. Uh, it's a bad match, man. It's got no bonuses. Uh, it's all over the place, but it might help us. Cool. Do we want to add any stipulations to these? Sure. Why not? Let's have it extreme. Let's go, girls. Uh, these two stipulations, uh, I think we can avoid. 
But then I think that might be our main event with Extreme Rules. This is going to be a weak card, guys. This is going to be a weak one. That's okay. We can see if we can stay in the lead on the next episode. Liv Morgan and Sammy George going at it. Who's going to get the win? It's Sammy George. Their rivalry grows. Valhalla going up against Zelina Vega. That's the name. Io Sky versus Meechin. Let's see what happens here. Not a match that we particularly wanted, but it is there. When it was Meechin, it's a disappointing match. Two and a half, one and a half stars. Ouch. She's got a class change. That's good. So that feud now actually means something. Nikki Lyons and Penelope Perfect going at it right now. And they have built a rivalry, but it is a one and a half star match. Rivalry's run between Zia Lee and Clubberella. How has that happened? I don't know, but it's I'm down with it. Tegan Knotts and Dakota Kai. Currently going at it in Extreme Rules. Tegan Knox wanted to be on the show. And she gets a win in our main event as well in a three and a half star match. Rivalry growth. Right. Good little start here. Good little start. We're not prolific yet, but we will end up prolific. I assure you. <laughs> uh, wow, ECW kicked our ass again. Uh, there's WCW. Man, I've got Stone Cold. No, it's a man, man. Uh, wow, that main event was great again. Even though that the people would be tired of that feud. Uh, rivalry is stale. Well, they're still getting like four and a half star matches. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't be upset at that. <laughs> uh, 2,000 fans, is that all? Man, that's no good. 22,000 fans, mate, they've all taken over us. 17,000 fans. twenty Even 26 for NXT, ouch. Let's have a look where we are. 347 versus 249 versus... 356, Paul Heyman's just taken over us. WrestleMania Backlash is beginning right now. Power of the Punch, we're all losing five popularity. Great, cheers. Cheers, Midias. I'm not liking that. Why am I looking at vetoed symbols near Cora Jade and Clubberella? Uh oh. Bad publicity, so let's buy until 10% of the fans next week. Thanks, man. Double the price of the power cards in the shop this week. Ouch. Double the price of the power cards. Three select randomly selected champions. That's all of our champions out for this show. Wow. Whoa. Beat him a random star replied. That's why Cora Jade was out. Ouch. You're not going to like this, but Clubberella, Lilla Tandy, Cora Jade will have to miss the show. Uh, yeah. Okay. Due to high demand, power cards are going to be more expensive. I just wanted to say thank you for keeping your word. Do not put Lula Tandy in a match this week. <laughs> well, it's not happening anyway. I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to. So that's one feud there. That's another feud with Meechin gone. A feud with Zia Lee that's gone. Which means our main event is now uh, Valhalla going up against uh, Zelina Vega. That's our four-star feud right now. Let's have let's put the other cards in um, that we've we've managed to at least get. Uh, Sammy George and Liv Morgan. They can go at it. Two-star feud. Uh, Cora Jade and Meechin. That's gone. That's gone. Tegan Knotts and Dakota Kai has just started. Nikita Lyons and Penelope Perfect needs a, a class change. Uh, wow. Wow. Oh, they hurt me there, didn't they, guys? They hurt me there. Uh, let's have a look at the roster, talent scouts, and uh, see what we can get, right? Female. Uh, female, and go up to, say, that level, that level, that level. Do we, get, do we get one star or two? I could do with two at the minute. Let's search in that level, see what stars we can get. There we go, man. Now, I really wanted Asuka to show up because we haven't used Asuka yet, and it feels a sin. To have not used Asuka by this point in the season, for sure. I'm going to sign her to the end of the season. There we go. I didn't even look what she was. I assume a specialist off the top of my head. Uh, Maurice. Maurice is level 19. I feel like we can have Maurice. How long can we have her for? So 273 to the end of the season, but we don't have enough money for that, really. So let's get her for 10 weeks for now, and uh, we'll try and keep her on. We'll try and keep her on. Should be fine. Should be fine. WrestleMania Backlash, let's do that. It should give us some more money, so absolutely worth doing this show. And uh, so who do we get? We got Asuka, who's a fighter. Uh, we only have one bruiser. 
It's all just a bit messy, man. Manage roster. What well, Asker? What can you turn into? Specialist. Uh, who else did I just buy? Asker Maurice. What can you do? Specialist. I don't hate Asker being a specialist for sure. It feels like it makes sense to be honest with you. Class change into specialist. Cool. We'll have that. We'll have. Uh, ugh. Penelope Perfect in the Keto Lions. Okay, that, that half works, even though it's a face versus heal. So I'll tell you what, let's add a heal into it. Let's turn it into a triple threat and add in a heal. Who's a heal? I hear you ask. Sile is a heal. Maurice is a heal. Uh, let's go, Zile. And then let's see if we can get what what class can she change into? I bet it's a brawler. Class change, Maurice, tell me what it is. It's a specialist. Oh no, it's a specialist. Yeah, I just said that, didn't I? Sorry. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What's it going to be? Eosky versus Maurice. What can Eosky turn into? It's heel versus heel. It's awful. We've got a face versus face feud happening. It's a mess. It's a mess. What can Eosky turn into? Just out of interest. Eosky can turn into a specialist as well. Specialist as well. No good for us. Oh well. Uh, and Meeting can cut a promo? Yeah, sure. Oh, oh, oh. Been a tough one already, guys. The show costs a fair bit, so uh, let's give it a little boost. Uh, we don't need to go crazy. Let's go TLC. Cool. How, how's your health? Yeah, it's alright. Uh, these two aren't, though. But that's our next best match, isn't it? Uh, let's make it a tables match. Cool. And let's make this a Iron Woman match. Cool. I think that's going to be our card. That is our show. So, like, that feels like it's been a tough episode already. What's going on? Uh, I expected to have a lot more people by now. I feel like everyone's upgraded so much. And that's what's happened because we've only been using women. Um, so we're not getting as much as we want. A three-star match to open the show. Asuka there. An okay promo. Changes class. Penelope Perfect in Kids Alliance and Zia Lee. This should at least keep it from being uh, Zia Lee getting the win there. Uh, and it grows to two stars. It's a two and a half star match. Me Chin with a weak promo. Scott Kai goes out there with Tegan Knox. What's going to happen here? Dakota Kai gets a win. Nice. Two star feud, and, and it was actually a decent match. Eo Sky versus Maurice. Let's see what happens here. Maurice gets the win. It's a dull match, so a dull match on our pay per view. Our new signee uh, not putting on the best match. We need some giants, man. We need some giants. Are you sure you want to simulate the rest of the show? No. I want to spectate the show. Let's sit back and enjoy Valhalla versus. Zelina Vega at the Backlash Arena. The, the arena that made uh, Zelina Vega almost famous. Uh, oh, we've got proper haze effects. I don't remember this before. Sound the war horns. Sound the war horns. There she is with her deer horns. Looking like Maxi Impaler. Got the eye of Marilyn Manson put in. Table, ladders, and chairs match. It's our main event of WrestleMania. First season. Can we get everyone on the roster? The way we're going, no, we need to be way more prolific. But everyone is so goddamn expensive. So goddamn expensive. We're going to need some decent power cards to get more people in. Um, I feel like next episode it'll start rolling just because we've got more people in our brand now. Um, so we're starting to get... We're starting to we'll start to be able to afford every, someone every week, I think, for sure, and really start of, start working on them uh, on them feuds. We'll just have enough people to make it work. That's why I wasn't too worried about what what class systems they had at the start of this season. Um, something I normally do bother with, if you remember, in the sort of first two seasons or three seasons, something I'm normally very conscious of. At uh, this time, I was more conscious about the finances and trying to get as many people as we could without going too crazy. And Valhalla is out here to show what crazy looks like it is a Backlash Arena. Valhalla taking her horns off. No longer horny. Who is 
Speaking of horny, here comes Zelina Vega in her fierce USA flag. Nice. She's from Queens, New York. Obviously, a huge moment for her at Backlash. Cracking outfit that she had last year at Backlash. She wore the Queen's crown and reformed the NWO, of course, former Queen Zelina. I miss a good King of the Ring. I really do. I love King of the Ring. Zelina going up to the top rope. Just to let you all know, those who have been following the series, this is the last episode that I'm pre-filming. I go away tomorrow uh, to our lasses. So it's been a tough week to get all these episodes filmed for you. Um, but this should come out on the 14th of... 14th of... 14th, yeah, 14th, yeah, cool. And Valhalla now in the ring against Selena Vela. Big headbutt there from Valhalla. Now a boot to the floor. Valhalla clearly being out, got muddy, muddy feet at the minute with a big kick to Selena Vega's face. Now lifting her up. What's she looking for here? The oh, vicious head crank from Valhalla. Let's see what happens. And now the arm wrench sending it into the mat. Picking her up here. This should be a decent match anyway. And then the overhead German. It's not even German if you don't release it. Can't well know you because it'd be a pin attempt if it was German. Okay, uh, she's got a kendo stick though. Whoa, watch out! I need to figure out if I can change the weapons under the ring because uh, I'm getting. Uh, I feel like you can. I feel like you can update the wheel to get like microphones and flip flops and stuff. So we might have to we might have to have a gander and a guitar and stuff. Code breaker, the most u used move in indie wrestling at the moment, but that's cool. Valhalla sending Zelina Vega into the ring ropes. Valha Valhalla caught out there by Zelina. And she does a beautiful standing moonsault there. Shades of Eddie Guerrero right there. And uh, and Rey Mysterio, certainly. <laughs> Valhalla throws Zelina Vega out the ring. But she tries to attack her and it doesn't work. Zelina Vega is able to meet her. And now Valhalla going with a neck breaker. No, it's not a neck breaker. It's a sit down attack. Now Valhalla going to the outside. She's looking at them ladders. But she decides against it. She is more than weapon enough, is that woman. Slamming Zelina Vega's head into the mat right there. Now getting back up. Still considering them ladders, thinking that Zelina Vega is going to be out for longer than she actually is. Zelina Vega going under and an uh, arm drag. Hip toss. Zelina Vega, though, knows how to get money, and she's got the shoe! Watch out for the shoe! She's got a shoe! And she's hitting her with a shoe, but it misses. It misses. All she did is hit the steel of the ladder. Man, that shoe was devastating. Uh, trying to throw her into the ladders now, but the ladders are not set up. But the announcer desk is. What's she going to do? Head straight first into the announcer's desk. The announcers can see traces of blood on that announce table desk. Speaking of an house table desk. Wow, Valhalla goes to empty it, but Zelina Vega puts a stop to it with a huge dive. Looking at taking advantage now. Will she be able to get her on the table to deliver a move of her own onto Valhalla on the table? That's what the audience want to see right now. As beautiful head first takedown. Big clothesline there from Valhalla. Finally puts a stop to that mad Zelina Vega run that happened from the suicide dive. There we go. Zelina Vega sending Valhalla across to the other side of the arena. Falling over the ladders. Landing on the hard steel. Now there's a, there's a shoe that Valhalla just walked over and she didn't take advantage. There we go. Her pull next swing. And now Valhalla being lifted up again. There we go. DDT. DDT. Valhalla looking at getting up, but Zelina Vega won't let it happen, using both of her knees to slam into the chest of Valhalla, sending her back down. Zelina Vega picking up Valhalla name. Big punch, knocks down Valhalla. Let's go. Valhalla's looking hurt here. This could be Zelina Vega's win. Beautiful rolling somersault attack there. Oh, but as Zelina Vega kips up, uh, sorry, as Valhalla kips up, Zelina Vega hits the corner of the table big time. Now locking up. Valhalla had that announce table ready, but instead choosing to send her into the ring this time. 
Big forearm. Now sending her into the turnbuckle. What does Valhalla have planned? Currently a massive shoulder barge and now choking her out with them bare feet. Zelina Vega wanted Valhalla to put some shoes on, but it didn't happen. Valhalla was not interested. The Viking warrior is more interested in winning this match. As she picks up Zelina Vega, sends her for the Irish whip into the corner. The big high knee meets Zelina Vega in the face, but Zelina Vega finally able to reverse it. Goes for the punch, but Valhalla's got it scouted this time. Back and forth now between the two women. And Zelina Vega holds on to her. She's got a submission locked in. She's hurting right now. Is she going to tap? She could absolutely tap here. Looks like she's tapped. No, she didn't tap. She fell out. Selena Vega stalking her prey. Valhalla right now. What's she going to go for? Big boots in the midsection. Goes over the top. Is this going to be a pin attempt right here? It absolutely could be. Zelina Vega instead taking the time to celebrate to the fans. Probably a huge mistake there, Zelina. Now picking her up. Clearly realizing that she was too close to the ropes. Picks her up for the crucifix. No, it's a neck breaker. A neck breaker. Zelina Vega going to the other side to scout and delivering the knee, but misses. Misses. Looks like she was going for the face wash there, but Zelina Valhalla had it scouted. Sending Zelina Vega into the side of the ropes. Valhalla going for multiple chops here. And Hurricanrana. Hurricanrana from Zelina Vega. Big boot to the back of Valhalla. What's going to happen here as Zelina Vega goes back to the outside of the ring? Is she going to look at putting shoes on Valhalla? Who knows? Who knows? It could happen. Zelina Vega looking at getting the tables and the fans go wild. That table landed on top of the kendo stick. The thing with that is it gives it easy access to get her fingers back under it. She's booting Valhalla on the back and now attacking the arm of Valhalla, trying to slow her right down there. And Zelina Vega looking at going to the top, jumping up to the top. Can't believe the energy that Zelina Vega still got in this match after being back and forth. Jumps on for a Hurricanrana, sends Valhalla down. And now wrenching her head into the ring mat right there. Let's see what happens here. Picking up the table, what is she thinking? She's leaning it up against that turnbuckle. Could be a dangerous place to leave that table. Could be a dangerous place for whoever gets the Irish whip into it. Zelina Vega trying to weaken down Valhalla looking for that Irish whip. But Valhalla with multiple kicks. Could this be her chance right now? Checking control of Zelina Vega. Leaning her up against the rope and using that lean to get a chop on her. Followed by the cartwheel, cartwheel double knee. Zelina Vega looks hurt by that. That was a lot of weight down and the force and momentum went across. Valhalla slipping outside of the ring now. What is she thinking about? She's getting back in. That's what Valhalla does sometimes. She just gets out and comes back in. It's part of a ritual. In the chapel of ritual. Big shotgun trouble drop kick from Valhalla. Onto Queen Zelina Vega. Here we go. Taking control of her. Looking at putting her into that table. But Zelina Vega sees what's happening and fights her way out. Now holding on to Valhalla. What's she looking at here? DDT, beautiful DDT. Looks like she got her to lower onto her knees. We didn't see exactly how that happened, but we saw the beautiful DDT that was delivered. And really still working on the head of Valhalla right now. Another smash into the mat. Going up and over. Wow. Wow. Into the powerbomb. Zelina Vega, what are you thinking? Are you going to go for the pin? No, she's not even going for the pin. She's going up to the top rope. Got high risk maneuvers right here. And now telling Valhalla to get up. Big double drop kick. Misses nothing but air there is what she hit. And Valhalla's finally come back around to her senses. It felt like a wasted opportunity there by Zelina. Beautiful roll through there, though. Zelina, who's going to hit the ladders? I'm assuming the title's on the line, right? Big boot from Zelina Vega. Massive chops there from Zelina Vega onto Valhalla. Neck breaker. And what are they looking at here? Zelina Vega now. Is she debating continuing the attack or going for the ladders? She continues the attack right now, but Valhalla has that punch scouted. Instead, looking at Irish whipping her into the table. Zelina's able to turn it around though, but the single arm over sends Zelina Vega flying. As now she's looking at the 
Standing Cloverleaf, is that? Texas Cloverleaf submission there that is locked on. Wow, but it looks like she lets her out. Big headbutts there from Valhalla onto Zelina Vega. The head of Valhalla from the um, the dreadlocks that she's got, giving her extra weight to attack. Looks like she's going for the ladders, but instead it's just that worship thing that she does. It's just that worship thing. Picking up Zelina Vega, big clothesline. Big clothesline sends her down. Now Valhalla going up to the top rope. What's she looking for here? Oh, she goes up, but is it enough? Big hits nothing but air that time. That hurt Valhalla. Now with Zelina Vega capitalizing, sending Valhalla into the turnbuckle before the big boo to Valhalla. What's she looking at now? Kicks to the stomachs. And again, but instead, Valhalla looks like she has that one scouted. But no, Queen Zaliga beat, beats her way through it. Nice. Going up with a kick there to Valhalla, up and over. A beautiful finish there for Zelina Vega. This is definitely the time she should be looking at getting the ladders. What is going on? Why is no one getting the ladders? Is the title there? Is there anything above the ring for them to win? Is it briefcase? I feel like this might be bugged, guys. I feel like it might be bugged. Zelina Vega with a big boot to Valhalla. Zelina, celebrating round. I am shattered, guys. I've had a really busy week this week at work. Big boot into the underside of Valhalla. Picking her up now. Careful of the table. Zelina just going through the table herself. Now Valhalla looking into capitalizing on it. Picking her up. Looking for that submission. No, slamming her face into the mat. Valhalla made huge mistakes right there. Even the kendo sticks look like it's hurt. Big knees to the back of Zelina Vega. She's trying to get up there, clearly. Now attacking the torso. What is she looking for? She goes under. Knocks out of the way. Is she going to get a set of ladders? No, she's getting a chair. She has the chair. Big attack now. Using that chair as an equalizer in the match. Zelina Vega rolling through. And now double drop kick to Valhalla. Zelina Vega feels like she's constantly had answers for everything that is, uh, Valhalla has done. Anytime that Valhalla seems to get a step up in the match, it ends, okay? The choke. And the tap out. The tap out from Valhalla. Valhalla would have lost the match if it wasn't for the... Uh, needing a ladder. Needing a ladder. Come on, what are you looking for? A table. Another table. Didn't you learn from your last one? <laughs> She's setting it up on the outside. Maybe it's not what she was looking for after all. And now going around to the other side, seeing if there's a, maybe seeing if there's a ladder under there. Is that what you're doing, Zelina? Oh, uh, now deciding against it because Valhalla's back to her feet. Hurricanrana. Onto the chairs. I'm going to give it another five minutes, guys. If it's not over, I think I'm going to try and skip it because uh, I don't know if it's bugged or not. But we will watch it for another five minutes at least. And who knows? Maybe it'll maybe it'll end naturally. I don't know. I just feel like they should have gone for the title or something right now. And I don't even know if it's there because I can't see it. There is a briefcase there, actually. Oh, so maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we should be fine. Uh, Zelina running away with them that chair that the chair that she's got. Maybe she shouldn't have gone the long way. But instead, the big throw ends up hitting Valhalla with an unprotected headshot. Valhalla fell every ounce of that through her cranium. Delivers a kip up now, but it could be too late. Well, she manages to get Zelina Vega in the ring. What is Valhalla looking for right now? She's going to the other side of the ring. She's going under the ring, and what's she, what she going to get here? It's another chair. It's another chair. As Zelina Vega wants that table. She's taking it round to the outside, and she is hitting her on that table. Sandwich between the things. Big super kick there for Valhalla. Really nice way to come back there. Valhalla with really hurt arms and really hurt legs right now. Sending Zelina Vega into the ring. Valhalla rolls through. What's she looking for? Ah, uh, Zelina Vega able to get ahead of it. Go is up for the springboard, but it's nothing but air. Slams down face face on the mat. She's got the table there that she could use instead. Choosing to go up against her and choke her. Yeah, big hits to the back of 
Queen Zelina's head there. Now trying to control her onto the ring steps, onto the ring ropes, excuse me. Picking her up onto the top ring rope and choking her out over the top. Beautiful work there. Now Valhalla going out and back in. We don't see anyone touch the ladders before we get to uh, the, about a minute and a half. We're, we're going to end this, guys. Ironically, like I've played, been playing a lot of my faction. They can they can go for ladders quite a lot in my faction. So I don't know what is happening right now with this uh, with this with it's Valhalla, isn't it? She keeps rolling out and going back in again all the time. Vinny Vega now coming back out. Valhalla celebrating, but it might be too early. Controlling now, Valhalla with big chop onto Zelina Vega, running the ropes. What she got? Big knees into the stomach of Zelina Vega. This is Valhalla's choice. Is she chance? Is she going to grab a ladder? Is she going to grab anything? Is she just going to go in and out of the ring? That is all she seems to be doing. She's got a table. Okay, fair enough. Uh, she's, she's, that's not what she wants. Yeah, I think we're going to call it there, guys. Um, I don't see anything else happening. What's Zelina Vega got planned here? Up and over and up and over. Big shotgun drop kick. Cool. I mean, we have seen Valhalla submit, but I just feel like it's bugged, I'm afraid. There we go. Uh, so we are going to quit and simulate. I mean, I kind of have it as uh, Valhalla winning, but it was just going on a bit too long, guys. And to be honest with you, I'm shattered. Valhalla, Valhalla gets a win anyway. Okay, it's a four and a half star match. Oh, that's really good. Don't know why there wasn't going for the ring steps. I feel like Valhalla could have gone for him several times and didn't. So, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Can't do out about it. It's the game. It's only a game, so you better believe I'm right. It's a three star, two and a half star, three and a half star, one star, man. That terrible match and a four and a half star main event. But ECW and WCW had main events of five stars. Not good for us. That feud's been going on forever. There we go. So that was our um, card. How did we do in comparison to them? Well, let me tell you. We got 96,000 uh, fans. And what else did they get? 191 beat me by 100,000 are you kidding 130 come on 141 okay we had a lot of cards used against us we had a lot of odds stacked against us but that is going to do it for oh no we got to trade what we got a budget of 637 uh, is there anyone cheap that we want? Thea Hale, 118,000. Tag champions. Charlotte Flair is the actual champion. Who's the other tag champion? Oh, uh, Carmella, who's injured. Okay. Uh, so, Charlotte Flair, but she's too expensive, man. She's too expensive. Have a look what else we've got in here. Pipe and Niven. I really want Pipe and Niven. We've not had Pipe and Niven yet. Once again, though, 279. I mean, I can remember you offering 400,000. Is that full time, though? Uh, 285 feels better for the Cruiserweight. It's a Giants that we need, though, isn't it? You know what? Should we get a trade going for Piper? I feel that'll help us out. Let's go to four. Let's just see if he'll do four for Piper Niven. And don't press the wrong button. That's right. I ended the trading. Trade in. My own fault. Absolutely my own fault. Do I sell to your sky for a lot of money? What's in there? I don't hate it. Uh, Alexa Bliss, the women's champion, versus Asuka and your sky and some money. I don't. I'm not as worried about NXT to be honest with you. If it was WCW or something, I might have done that. You better up your game a couple more shows like that and your fans are going to end up being my fans. Uh, your fans clearly have low expectations of your brand. I had an off night. It could happen to anyone. An off night, guess again. You're not going to make it in this business. See those raise it, ratings? That's how you put on a show. Even a GM like you can get lucky. I doubt you'll be able to pull that again. You're just mad you lost. Have fun being second best. We just want a new physical trainer on the staff. Uh, you could train Tegan Knox and Zelina Vega for two weeks. Um, yeah, sure. Um... That's a solid deal. I'll take him long enough to train both wrestlers. Cool. 
Knox and Vega. So it's Knox and Tegan Knox and Zelina Vega both being taken to the physio, uh, basically. I can't believe you put me didn't put me in the PLA. You have any uh, mate? That won't me. That won't that won't me. That was a card he played. I thought things were going well for me at SmackDown. Maybe not. Not good. Hey boss, I was hoping to take some personal time off. Um, uh, uh, I can give you one week. Better than nothing. Thanks, boss. She's an increase uh, to a morale. Glad you're giving the respect. I deserve. Let's select our shake-up card. Del double your current budget after your next show. So we basically get a million. Select a giant superstar. They sit out three shows while your fighters and bruisers increase match card quality. Mate, that really helps us in that first time. Superstars who win ambulance matches gain five additional pieces. Uh, double your current budget after your next show feels really good. I feel like Fighters and Bruises is great. But first of all, we don't have a giant superstar. Second of all, we don't have... No, we don't. Uh, w current budget, I think it is. Yeah, cool. A simple one, but hopefully one that can certainly make us some money. We've got a budget of 600000 so maybe it wasn't a bad thing that we lost out on that. Maybe we can uh, certainly do something with that in the future. And maybe we try and avoid searching for someone in this round. And we save it for the next time. But speaking of the next time, that is it for this video. Uh, if you have continued watching it all the way through, do us a solid a drop a like button. It really helps us out growing this tiny little channel into something special. Uh, I want to say a huge thank you to all of you. Um, this is my last video that I'm pre-filming, like I say. So it's going to be really nice to sort of go away, read all your comments, come back, and then start filming uh, afresh when I get back. And prepping for the custom GM mode. If you have any more superstars you want in that GM mode, get it written in the comments, because it, well, it might be too late by now, to be, to be honest with you. Let's be honest, it's probably too late. You miss your chance, baby. You miss your chance. But I will have some exciting ones. In fact, looking at my calendar, because I've, I've written dates on when stuff should be coming out. Um, the 20th. Do we do it the 20th, or do we do it the 27th? Let's say the 27th. The 27th, the end of this month, we're going to have one Thursday off, basically, then. The 27th, we are going to do a roster reveal. We are doing our full custom GM mode. It's going to be live. You can come and hang out with me. I'll set up a video. Uh, come and hang out with me. And then on the Sunday will be the premiere of the... So Sunday, the 28th, will be the premiere of the GM mode. So you're basically two weeks away from a custom GM mode, a completely new series, completely new challenges, and complete new excitement. So get looking forward to that but until then have a great week a great few weeks for me <laughs> and i'll see you in the next one take it easy guys oh, oh, oh! hello this is shotzi blackheart and welcome to give me a whole yeah i hope everyone checking this out in yorkshire and beyond is having a great day oh, oh, oh!